guys doing? <laughs> well, checking out these. Um, yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Con- coffee break. Right? <laughs> I see what you chaps are up to. Thanks for. Thank, now's a good time. Let's go away. Oh, are you filming? <laughs> Holy crap, I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. You knew exactly what we're doing. You. I don't want to call you that. Are you admiring my mug? Or? We're not selling those guitars today. I hate coffee. Don't bring that stinky crap around here anymore. <laughs> Put some Queen's Rock on while you're at it. <laughs> Just tasted a lemon. Uh, anyway, so we are here and without Rob, thankfully. Bye. These are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's gone. Taylor 114. Not C. They are E's. Right. These are 114 E's. And these are wonderful, wonderful guitars. And I say that a lot about Taylor's. They're all wonderful guitars, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, the, the last few I sold these guitars to, the last, my last few customers were uh, young guys that were proficient players. You know, they've been playing electric yeah. guitar. And they wanted, it, they, they, they wanted to get their first acoustic, but they didn't want to get, you know, they weren't beginners. Beginner. Yeah, 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 they yeah. weren't beginners. And they wanted a tailor, but they were young, and they, they needed something that was going to sound good and then help them take their playing to the next level. Because, yeah. you know, you may learn on start off on electric, but once you get into acoustic, then you realize, like, a lot of the skills and techniques you develop on the electric instrument complement the acoustic and also vice versa. Yeah. You know, you become a better electric player if you really get into playing acoustic. And yeah. this is what, you know, these uh, last few customers of mine, these are guys that, you know, Young guys, but had a, they wanted a good guitar, yeah. and this is what this is what they landed on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like watch this video after this because I just completely stared right through you the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure what you said was awesome, but I missed it. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. You don't have to repeat it. I'll, I'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, you watch it. <laughs> it's in the can. <laughs> so. Uh, what I love about these, this level of guitar is that you're getting a, a very, very legitimate. <laughs> you're more attentive than I am. It's, you're getting a legit guitar for a very reasonable price. I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's, um, I just said that. <laughs> you did? Oh, well, then fast forward. <laughs> So anyway, so what, what is cool about it is, you know, with Taylor guitars, no matter where they're built, if they're built in, uh, in, in the USA or they're built in Mexico at their, at their plant there, they're always a solid top, always a solid top, which is a big deal. <clears throat> and um, this one has the forward shifted bracing, which helps with a little bit of sustain. <laughs> uh, I want to... Uh, but... So it's got the forward shifted bracing, which, which helps it do, get a little bit of uh, volume, 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 volume. And it, so anyway, it has a Sitka spruce top, am I correct? Indeed, you are. What is the back? The back of this guitar is layered walnut. Walnut. All right, so Beautiful. this is really, really a very, very, very nice shade. It complements the top. Yeah. I don't have, don't have that drastic tonal difference and, yeah. you know. So some people ask, what's the difference between this and an Academy? Well, the Academy is a great guitar, built essentially the same way. It, this is a 25 and a half inch scale. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit, it's, you know, it's, it's your kind of standard size acoustic where the, the Academy is a little bit smaller. But the binding sets it off. Mm-hmm. You know, the uh, purfling around here, the rosette's a little more complex. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's it's got the ES2 system, huge, which is a huge, huge deal, you know. So um, so it's got an ebony fretboard, ebony peg head veneer. I be, Rob called it a peg head the other day. I hadn't heard that for like 20 years, and now mm-hmm. I'm going to say it all the time because okay. I just want to be want to be vintage. So peg head veneer is ebony, which really sets it off. I really like that. So it's got a sapele neck. Mm-hmm. Am I correct in that? Yes, indeed. And the the tuners. 
The Taylor tuners are always stable, no matter which guitar you, you, you put them, you know, you get. Um, obviously, there's different tuners as you get up in the line, but uh, these are very, 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 very stable. Um, we've been playing these for a while, just getting ready for the video, and they are they are in tune. Yes. With uh, within themselves and with each other. So uh, so uh, play a little something. I'll play a little something after you. There's a little That's something. A little something. <laughs> Another song. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. It's epic. Right? <laughs> you you got to make, man. I just totally sold that. It kind of got that wonky there for a minute, but nobody will even know because I didn't fall into the trap. <laughs> so uh, that's about it for this beauty, right? I, right? If we didn't say it, it's got an ebony fretboard, ebony uh, uh, bridge, uh, tusk nut on these, mm. and a Macarta saddle. So a little bit different from some of the other models. Uh, but uh, very, very cool. So, do yeah. you have anything else you'd like to say? No, except that the, I, you will not be disappointed. No. no. I mean, it's a very really well wonderful said. guitar. Very well said. Very good. Good pitch. Yes. <laughs> so, they just started putting walnut on these like last year, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. So, it's a, it's, a nice, it's a nice tonal change. Really <laughs> cool. So, uh, if you have any, any, any questions, please call, live chat, or email. Any of those uh, methods, we will not put, be pushy. We are very, 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 very here to help you. And uh, we're not here to sell guitars. We're here to help people. Um, and like I said, call, email, chat. Um, the live chat thing on the bottom of the, 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 the website, don't let that be intimidating, thinking we're gonna, we're gonna like be pushy we're not we're here to help so enough said on that please comment tell us if you like the video or if you don't like it and uh, we'll do better next time man we'll do our best but uh please most importantly subscribe because you never know you never you never know when you're going to be looking for your next guitar and if you did like the way we did this video we might make another one for you that might be for your next guitar or your next amp or pedal and whatnot so um and, and uh, realize we are now selling small goods on the website, which include the elixir strings that are specifically made for ta or that Taylor uses on all their guitars. So um, you can also check out our informational page on Taylor guitars. Um, it's on the website. You can just uh, go to the little resources tab and get there. But enough of that. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Brett. This is Edward the Great. And uh, <clears throat> we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.